Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manhar and welcome back to our safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the difference between Microsoft Andra joint devices and Microsoft Andra registered devices. A key element of Microsoft Andra ID management is device joint types which each playing a unique role in defining how devices establish trust and connectivity within the Microsoft Andra ID environment. Microsoft Entra ID offers various device joint types each designed to suit different scenarios, device categories and management needs. The primary device joint types are Microsoft Entra registered devices, Microsoft Entra joint devices and Microsoft Entra hybrid joint devices. In this video, we will only discuss the difference between Microsoft Entra registered devices and Microsoft Entra joint devices. I'll create a separate video dedicated to Microsoft Entra hybrid joint devices. The main difference between Microsoft Entra joint devices and Microsoft Entra registered devices lies in the nature of their relationship with your organization's identity and access management system as well as how they are managed and controlled. Microsoft Entra joint device refers to a device that is joined to your Microsoft Entra ID tenant. The device is considered as a corporate asset and is fully managed by the organization. These devices are typically used by employees in enterprise environments where the device needs to be integrated tightly into the organization's IT management infrastructure. This allows for greater control, security and compliance. On the other hand, Microsoft Entra registered device is a personal device that is registered with Microsoft Entra ID for the purpose of accessing certain resources or applications in the organization. Unlike a joint device, it is not fully under the control of the organization and it is often used for bring your own device scenarios. This is commonly used when users need to access corporate resources on their personal devices like smartphones, tablets, personal laptops, but do not want the organization to fully manage those devices. Let's take a look at this comparison chart for a detailed overview of the differences. Microsoft Entra joint devices are part of the Microsoft Entra ID and managed by the organization's IT department. Used mainly for corporate owned devices such as laptops or desktops that are intended for work use. Devices are authenticated using Microsoft Entra ID credentials. Microsoft Entra join is typically done at the time of device setup. For example, when a user set up a new device or enrolls an existing device. It supports management features like group policy and MDM solutions like Intune. Access to corporate resources can be controlled based on group membership, policies and rules. Microsoft Entra registered device is not domain joined to Microsoft Entra ID but it is still registered so that it can be associated with a user in Microsoft Entra ID. Typically used in BYOD scenarios where users want to access corporate resources such as email, apps, etc. from their personal devices. This provides some level of control over the device such as conditional access policies without fully managing it. It does not provide full management of the device like a joint device. This can be used to ensure that only trusted devices can access corporate resources based on the security policies enforced by Microsoft Entra ID. Let's talk about the use case scenarios. A company issues a laptop to an employee and the laptop is joined to Microsoft Entra ID. The device is fully managed by the company with control over security, updates and access to company resources. An employee wants to access their work email on their personal smartphone. The employee registers their phone with the Microsoft Entra ID through the company's enrollment process which allows them to access the corporate email but the company does not manage the personal phone directly. In summary, Microsoft Entra joint devices are enterprise controlled while registered devices are user controlled personal devices with some organizational oversight for accessing corporate resources. That's it for today's video on the difference between Microsoft Entra joint devices and Microsoft Entra registered devices. In the upcoming video, we will walk through the steps to register or join devices to Microsoft Entra ID. 
I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.